Hey everyone, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the next step for my week in the life project. For me, that is going to be adding in these words that I printed on craft paper. I don't think that they're true craft paper, but I made some pockets for my little booklets and I noticed that, I mean, it wasn't hard to notice, but I noticed that on these, um, transparencies that they had all these awesome words and so I figured you know what I'm just going to repeat this theme of words throughout my project and so I printed out a ton of different words it was a lot of work in photoshop elements because I copy and pasted everything to a separate document and erased what I didn't need and so I do have to print like three different times you know, some variety of words, but it turns out for me to be worth it to have all these variety of words. So that is what I'm doing. And I'm just going through day by day, putting in little words. And I do plan on just having some empty pockets where I have words kind of floating. Some of the words are currently like, yes, loving, thankful, all those kind of great words. And you can see them down at the bottom. I also have a little tray of chipboards and a veneer and transparencies that I picked out that might work as well. Like that photo of me dancing, I put brand new day for the chipboard. This little pocket has everyday stories. And again, I'm just using those six by eight transparency dividers from the digital week in the life uh, kit. I'm not sure if it's the kit or if it's something separate, but either way, it's completely digital. And like I said, I just copy and paste the words to another document so that way I can print them out and fussy cut them out. I also noticed that I needed a four by six pocket for this family photo for dinner. And then on the back of it, I can just add a quote card or stamp something. I plan on doing a lot of stamping once I get to that next, the next portion, which is going to be probably putting together Monday. And now at this point, I actually do have Monday done. So I'm hoping to have that video for you guys on Friday, I'm hoping. And as you can see, as I turn these pages... You will also see the um, little booklet pockets and those that's exactly where I got the different words. And I also wanted to add maybe a few words to each of the six by eight photos. And I just make sure or I'm going to make sure that they will be in a good spot and uh, kind of coordinate with the vellum that is in front of it. I am also going to add in some digital stamps. It was too tempting to not use digital stamps because I was really enjoying how these phrases were printing out. So I used Stories by the Month April kits and you just saw me put one on the photo of my husband and daughter that says documenting the good stuff. Um, well, I just put it on there right now. I put it in the little pocket, but I used those and I printed out ones that said current delights, current outlook, April, happy, those kind of words. And I also used a freebie from the week in the life prep day. And it was like the morning and night kits from a really long time ago. So I printed out a few phrases for that because I did wind up with several morning stories and evening stories. And I figure if I don't have a lot of journaling for those spots, then I can just use giant word phrases and just have fun making my pages. Like you can see there's one right there that says PM. So that's going to be fun to have in that pocket kind of floating. And I just made sure that the vellum is going to be um, not in the way of the phrase that I want for the front porch, which is home. So I'm going to continue to go through each of these pages and see what kind of word phrases that I'm going to use. It may seem like a lot, but to me, I don't think it's going to be. I've always used a lot of word phrases in my week in the lives. If it's not the stickers, like the word phrase stickers, then it's going to be other words. And I'm really loving all these different word options that I have, and I'm excited to get them 
adhere down on my pages. Okay, so I'm gonna speed things up just a little bit and add some music while I finish up adding the rest of the words. I do have to print, like I said, like two or three rounds, but I am gonna get these all done and I'm excited to go to the next step and um, get everything put together because I will finish this album. I'm determined. Okay, so I'm almost finished adding in some words. I just can't help myself <laughs> adding in all these words. I even added a really great one to the family evening where it says birth beautiful and perfect right now. And I also have one that says night owl that I will add to the photo of myself. And I kind of mentioned this earlier, so I don't know if it made sense, but I am hoping to treat some of these pages, like this do nothing page, almost as like a mini scrapbook page. So there doesn't have to be a lot of journaling, but there can be some and also a title and some embellishments and just have fun putting together my project and try not to stress if I don't have a lot of journaling and yeah, have fun with my stamps. So I have all of these added in and now I can move on to the next step. Hey everybody, so you just saw me add in all of these words to my pages and next step now is to pull out all of these pages and put the photos on. And I did a lot of the work behind the scenes and off camera because I had to have my camera roll like in my hand scrolling and also the album right next to me so that way I could make sure that I didn't double up on a lot of photos. I really wanted to see if I could find photos that had not been used or stories that had not been repeated. And uh, so I sized these at one and a half by two inches and I also grabbed my memorabilia that I had saved. So uh, on Monday, we got butterflies. We love doing that, and I've talked about it probably several times. I included that. I also got some happy mail, so I included that. Over here, I have some cookies that I included. And then this is the second sheet that I need to go ahead and cut and add to the learning and the watching. And I think that I'm gonna go ahead and use my temporary adhesive. That way, if I do decide to go back and print these with persnickety, that I can just peel them up really quickly. But some of them are uh, photos that I had not used, like my daughter making her Pokemon or me preparing food. I have two of those even included a drawing of a Pokemon from my daughter. So it's just a mix of photos that I had to print out and also ones that I hadn't used yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add these on. And then if I have empty squares, I'm just gonna probably stamp something or use that space as a way to bullet point journal list or something like that um, and not overcomplicate it. So. Let's switch to voiceover and get these adhered and also these cut out. And then I was going to add a third section to this video, but it was getting so long that I'm just probably not going to add in that. The third part was going to be talking about my journaling and basically just making a list of all the journaling spots that I need for my project. So if that does interest you, please leave a comment and let me know. But really, the video was just me making a list.
All right, I'm starting with Monday. I'm just going to go Monday through Sunday and adhere everything and then go back through and add in my stamped phrases or word stickers or anything that I want to the empty squares. And like I mentioned in kind of the intro, I definitely wanted to aim for photos and stories that had not been told. It was a lot of work putting this together because I don't think I took a lot of good notes about uh, these ING prompts. I kind of forgot about them, um, just like the colors. Linda at Linda Loves Creating, she had an awesome week in the life checklist and it included uh, colors. I tried, I did great on Monday and I did pretty good on Tuesday, but I just fell off the wagon. So it's kind of similar to that, but not as bad. Uh, colors, I kind of gave up. But the ING, I was determined to figure out how I could make these work, um, especially with learning. Learning was really hard. I kind of felt, um, I don't know what the word is, but I felt bad that I had not written down some of my kids' stories that they told me. Um, but I did get a picture of my daughter's uh, math homework, her planner. My son does not have one. Why he doesn't have one, I, I mean, why he, does he not have one, I don't know. He's in eighth grade, he should have one, but they never really taught the kids how to use one, but I don't know. That's neither here nor there. Right now, I am cutting up these photos that I have, and I just used my Pick Frame app to print them out. That app works pretty good. Sometimes the sizing is off a little bit, but for the most part, most part, it does the job. So once I have these photos all cut, I can go ahead and adhere those on to my different pages. I'm also going to have to do a third round for this project as well because I noticed the learning section and I think watching did not have as many photos as I thought that it could. So I'm going to go ahead and divide these up and then get them onto my pages. And I, um, I have four different categories categories here, making and watching and learning and eating. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere these all down. Then I will decorate. So I'm going to go ahead and again, speed things up, add a little music and then come back when I am ready to decorate. All right, so I have most of my photos done. You can see that learning needs a few more and I'm gonna get a few more. I'm gonna kind of stretch the word, but I will explain that more later. Adding in the rest of the watching, I love how I was able to get a photo of, of like me and my blanket watching TV, so that was cool. Now I'm kind of showing you all the pages brought back and then I can go ahead and start on the decorating. So I'm gonna start with reading and I grab some really old stickers and a plastic book from the read kit or something like that. It was It's many years old. So I grabbed that one and I'm gonna go ahead and just decorate my squares and add in a few word phrase stickers and then also do the bullet point journaling. Cause I figured that is the easiest way to, um, journal. Don't make it so hard on myself, right? Don't make it hard on yourself for any projects, right? I think that's what we all need to remind ourselves of. I stamped so love and then another stamped phrase and then just talk about how uh, my daughter read two books this week or maybe three and I read two books and also listened to uh, three audiobooks, I think. It was a really good reading week for both of us. I also included a screenshot of some random facts that I found on in Instagram one day, so that was fun to include. Now I'm doing the loving page, and for this one, I didn't do any journaling. I just stamped love captured in like block 
you know, block stamped form and then current delights. And that's it. That one was super simple. This one for making, I decided to, of course, use the new newer stamp set that's uh, make from the make story kit. And I put makers gonna make and I also wanted to use the dot heart. So I grabbed some scratch pieces of paper and I stamped that in green ink. And it's very faint and it works perfect for what I needed to use it for. Also stamped yay, and that kind of left me only a little bit of room to journal, but I went, a went ahead and journaled about all the different things that we made that week, including drawings and scrapbooking and food, all the different things. Now for uh, listening, I did notice I do not really have any stamps that have to do with listening, so I may need to get some. I took this circle and stamped it in pink in kind of the different corners, and I really love how that turned out. Also stamped uh, uh, Escape the Ordinary, which I think is really a fantastic way to kind of think about uh, audiobooks and music, because music and audiobooks are just the absolute best. I also did include a screenshot of some audio messages that I was sending to my friend Erica, and uh, I love how I was able to get that. And then I just do a bullet point journal list about the different things that we listen to during the week, besides all the everyday conversations that uh, we all listen to. So this is the learning one and my son went on a really big trip uh, this particular week so I decided why don't I just include some of the photos that were shared by the parents and the chaperones why don't I just use those so I'm gonna put those like, like in the bottom row and then I stamped fun and I grabbed my word uh, phrase stickers that yellow sheet is so bright but this one will work best it had some great options for word phrases like this adventure which is absolutely perfect, right? Feeling confident, which is also perfect because my son was so brave to go on this trip. It was his first one in many years because of, you know, the world shutting down. I also took uh, two other word phrase stickers and just kind of staggered them in the middle. I even picked a pink one and I almost wish that I had picked like a dark blue one because that would have made more sense. Um, but that's okay. It says explore and then the green one says determined. And I just made a list again, library checkouts, homework, biggest learning experience was my son's trip. Um, and so I love how this page turned out. I was really, like I mentioned it, I was a little stumped about learning, but it all worked out and I love it. Next up is watching. I shrunk down that Ted Lasso photo and I grabbed a screenshot of a workout that I was doing with Coach Kel and I also used another photo of my kids playing together. So I'll wind up with two empty boxes and I am excited that I got this page filled up with not just shows but other aspects of our lives that we watch or that I watched. So up at the top, I'm going to stamp happy and down at the bottom corner, I will stamp now. So I liked using those outline type of words and I'm also going to stamp some flowers. I did stamp some in yellow ink and <laughs> I thought to myself, Sabrina, why'd you do that? You can't even see them, but that's okay. They're there. They're hidden. Below the happy, I have current delights and then love, I will stamp twice in the block kind of form of stamping. That's another really old stamp set from Ellie Edwards, um, Art of Noticing. And then I just put our current shows, watching the kids play together, it's heart melting, and late night TV with my husband, and then watching my workouts. Last one is eating, and I had this drink mix on there and I decided to take that off because I just, I, I didn't like it. So I took it off and I'm gonna move the yogurt up to that spot. And then I will also add in a colorful taco night dinner and another breakfast sandwich because I love breakfast. Breakfast is the best. I also did not add any journaling to this page, just like loving. Um, I didn't, I felt like it was pretty self-explanatory and I just didn't wanna add any notes. So I'm gonna stamp in script, capturing life, and above that two phrases that are very similar. 
Ah, uh, yeah, and details, and that's it. So I love how these pages came together. It was definitely worth all the work to get these put together and get the photos collected. And I am so excited to now begin the task of getting my journaling and also and well, getting my journaling and then putting together the days. So I'm very excited. And now I'm getting them in the album and that's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed another video of how I am bringing this album all together. I would love a thumbs up or if you're new to my channel, a subscribe would be awesome. Thanks so much and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Bye.